Hugh Street is a, a street that is quite involved with my family because my family lived at the top of Booth Street uh, and uh, my great-great-grandfather and, um, and his brothers, sisters and whatever were all born in a cottage at the top of this street. So it's quite an important street to me. Lots of Older, the older people used to live in Booth Street mainly in those days. Um, my um, my aunt used to live in Booth Street uh, at, the, at the top there. Um, she would have met people from the shipyard. There would be sailors still in the village at that time. The Fisher family lived in the street. Yeah, I mean they were a big. Big Apador family, the, the Fisher family, they lived at the bottom of the street. At that period in time, probably my relation, Philip Waters, lived at the bottom of the street. Um, he was a local councillor and, and he worked at the shipyard. Um, my, like I say, my aunt and uncle lived at the top of the street. They were, um, um, lived at number 35 at the top. There was uh, Mr. and Mrs. Locke used to live at the top of the street there. Joyce Hooper. Um, the lady there is, is um, Dolly Popham. They, she used to live next door to my aunt at the top there. And uh, there was like a, a thriving community of, of um, shops, which, which meant there was all sorts of people um, roaming around selling things, which uh, I'm not quite sure whether the market still exists at this point. There was a market right at the bottom of the street that used to where, where now the Port Quarter is. There used to be an open area there where they used to have a market twice a week. There was um, a store at the bottom of the, the street, which is now an art gallery, which used to be a general store. Land stores, it was there all my childhood and up until I was probably in the teens, I can't remember now. But uh, yeah, it was um, one of those stores where you went in and it was like Aladdin's cave. You could roam around for two hours and find something different all the time, you know, but nothing in the place. It was all, all a mishmash, you know. <laughs> but you could buy toys, clothes, pots, pans, all sorts of things in there. And that was always where I went to get my Christmas present. My parents used to take me into that shop just before Christmas and get an idea of what I liked. And then usually it was what I got. So, yeah, yeah, it used to be a really popular street one time, full of shops, bakeries, uh, butchers, all sorts of things, which is not anymore, I'm afraid.